All right, people. Welcome back. More daily duels. So, of course, Friday, Magic Specters. This deck is looking so tier one. It, it is. It, and, and you know what? The magicians don't help. They really don't. They, all they do is just add consistency and strength to a deck that's already uh, a little bit weaker to stand alone. Like I said, it needs a couple more cards. But you know, as uh, you know, starting off and you know being backed up by the magicians, it looks like you know it's possible that this deck might be able to just crush, crush it, people. Anyway, we are going up against uh, Romages, which in my opinion is one of the weaker decks, but shh, you didn't hear that from me. But uh, anyway, we're going to go ahead and just crush it real quick. We're just going to go ahead and crush it, because that's that's what my Spectres do, of course. So, uh, it sucks that he went first, because generally I like to go first, but he went first, he went ahead and set some back row. Uh, I'm just not the biggest fan of Romages. I, I definitely think they're one of the weaker decks, and that's just me, that's just me personally. And the reason why I say that they're one of the weaker decks is because they do the opposite of what's good. Uh, life points are, of course, a resource. They, you know, they're expendable, and you pay them, and, you know, there's, there's a reason why cards that pay life points are resources, and uh, the other way around is just not practical. There's a reason for that. And uh, this deck kind of just breaks the norm of it, and that's definitely how I feel when it comes to uh, this deck. Just, it's just how I feel, you know? Uh, you know, upstart, giving your opponent life points, draw a card, yeah. Uh, Song Morning, you go ahead and pay life points to stop opponent's play, yeah. Soul Charge, pay life points to go ahead and get resource, get monster summons, yeah. But then when you start playing shit like Draining Shield and Dian Keto, and it's just like, what the fuck are you doing, you know? It's just like, no, no, that that's not right. You're, you're doing it wrong, you know? And that's definitely how I feel about it, is that you're, just, you're doing it wrong, <laughs> so... I can discard a Pendulum Monster, which of course I don't want to do. I actually want to go ahead and summon my Kitty Cat. So I can dance, 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 dance. Hi, it's a Kitty Cat. <laughs> and uh, of course, we're going to go ahead and activate my powerful Pegasus. Get rid of you. And exchange for... Hmm. How strong are you? I'd really like to get you, because you're going to go ahead and give me some pluses as well. Yeah. I mean, I already got my back row, so that's enough. And, and as I said, it's not like he can phase me. I'm using magic specters, you know. The, the thing I'm, I'm going to be, I'm curious, and it's what what rarity is they going to be? What what are these? What's the power creep? That's what I'm wondering, because I definitely see <clears throat> some. Uh, I could definitely see some stuff. I could, you know, these cards. Look at the card art. You could definitely. They would look like some pretty secret rares. I'm not giving Konami any ideas, of course, but they look like some pretty. Secret race, so as you can clearly see, I'm I'm already crushing it. Like this duel is already <laughs> wrapping up smoothly because for some reason they decided, oh, can't be targeted or destroyed by opponent's card effects. So you know them fiendish chains and shit like that, all this shit that he wants to play. Nah, nah, my magic factor say fuck you. You mean he could you can use on a scar curbat, but he's expendable. All he's supposed to do is just add the consistency to set up my skills, but he's nothing more than that. So. <laughs> Alright, so are you going to play some cards that deal with life points? Well, I'm, I'm going to have to hit you with this. And the reason why is because I'm running into one of my big my deck's biggest weaknesses. Monsters that are stronger than me, but as you can clearly see, I went ahead and crushed the real mages real quick. I'm sorry, this deck makes me cocky just because I know that's going to be good. I know it, you know. Any pendulum based deck is great, but then when you add it's like, oh yeah, um yeah, pendulum based monsters that can't be targeted or destroyed by opponent's card effects and of course they're pendulum monsters so they pendulum summon back. And they all search like oh come on. God. Um, Yu Gi Oh is just such a fast game. It's like every time you turn around you're like, That is busted, you know. We need a freaking instead of a that is easy buddy. Easy button, you know, that is busted button. Every single time we see Konami release a new archetype, you just be like, that was busted. That is busted. That is busted. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get another one. Bear back. Alright, let's crush it real quick. So, uh, I even think that even the OCG, they're using the Magicians as just an engine, because they can. You know, and that's interesting. Oh, wow, did not open up with any of your mages. Uh, uh, then, um, I mean, Arom. Oh, I'm thinking about our mages, Night Spectres. Which makes his hand not nearly as good. I definitely need to go ahead and uh, open up with some of the magic specters to make this hand useful. Damn, that sucks. Let's go ahead and throw the veil at me. Sure. Yeah, this hand is bad. <laughs> Real bad. If I just had one magic scepter, I'd be fine, but... 
I said they're they're kind of weak on their own just because their monster count's really low. So I think it definitely is good to go ahead and splash the magicians in with them, just to uh, set up the skills instead of their own. You know, because that's definitely a problem that this deck faces. <sighs> I can power through. I'm gonna power through, people. So you want you want to set anything? You want to do anything? Then fine. So these field spells are awesome. It's a great field spell. It's just uh, you know the raw mage monster. You know, and I'm I'm running them. I'm running them. I'm running the cat and I'm the whatever. I'm running the I'm carrying. I'm running the cat. Running the dog. You know, you know, cat dog. So, yeah, I'm definitely doing all I can. But, yeah, you know, I think I'm only running one unicorn because you really only need one unicorn, especially when the magicians are your scale. Or maybe one. I mean, yeah, one unicorn. I was thinking Pegasus because the fill spell, but no, it's unicorn. Okay. <laughs> He's just like, he's just like, alright, I'm gonna go ahead and play this card and target it, and then, I guess, mm, I don't know. <laughs> so, what's this say? Uh, it's been a while. Do you hear about this card targeting for attack? You can make it uh, 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 your first turn when a card affects aggregated targets. You face up card, except during damage time, you can set a wooden blue ice. Mm, I don't know. Seems like you would get the effect, unless I'm not, I'm not unsure about something, but maybe you missed timing, maybe you didn't activate it, I don't know. Seems like you're doing really fine. I mean, I didn't really do much, and you just scooped it up. You're like, fuck it, fuck it. Okay, okay. I mean, I could have just attacked you, and you could have got your effect, so I don't even know why you're panicking. And you just scooped it up. <sighs> Whatever, hopefully I get a better hand than this, because it's just like, wow. So, we're back. Alright. So, better hand. Like I said, give me some magic factors. There's, like I said, they're there for a reason. Alright, this hand is doable. It's doable once again. Got them the terraformings and shit. But yeah, this hand is totally doable. Hmm. I think I want to summon you. Yeah. I'm summon you. Of course, you'll get your effect during the end phase. Gonna activate you. Switch you out. Uh, go ahead and give me raccoon. Can I only activate the? Okay, if I say you can only use the effect of the felt spell once a turn. So if I activated like another felt spell, could I get another? But no. Nah. They're like, nah. You can't do that. But cool. Oh, well, I got my scales, so I'm gonna go ahead and pendulum shotgun. I can, of course, go ahead and uh, start doing plays. Like I said the magicians help with the consistency of the pendulum summon, but night searchers are kind of weak because they're really reliant on their monsters. Like so that's that's a big one, you know. The monsters are a big ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and get unicorn because I can start doing plays with unicorn. I said I probably might put unicorn as my skill too. Is I would like to go ahead and have Fox place. And of course, I've got my powerful counter trap, black hole, uh, black hole, hello, black horn S card. So, of course, if he pendulum summons. Nah, nah, nah. Scar can attack during turn special summon anyway, so I'm gonna allow you to go ahead and, you know, overextend, do some more of your heretic plays, and then. Uh, when I'm good and ready, I'll go ahead and hit you with the macro. And I said, use more resources out of your hand, sir. Use more resources. Come on. Come on. Do a little bit more than that. No, you're not done. You have your normal summon yet. Go ahead and, you know, do your plays. Mm-hmm. You're gonna try to black res me? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> There's your normal summon, so. You gonna try to black res me? Ah, oh, it's so cute. So cute. Leave my presence. <laughs> okay. When I try to use a powerful dick, I turn into Dirty Dan. I'm Dirty Dan. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and play Unicorn. Unicorn, like I said, I, I like to play at one just because uh, it's not the greatest card to play just because it's hard to pen on something without the magicians, you know, and I really only need one. So we'll go ahead. Pendulum Shulkan. And grab all my back row, and uh, that will be the end of this duel. An interesting way to end this duel. Like, oh yeah, they're all just, they're all ridiculous. They're all ridiculous. Yes, yes, yes. Uh. Oh, I drew a Tempest. Yeah, go ahead and give me a Tornado. Just in case, because this course only goes off when my opponent pushes me or, or activates the monster effect, so if he summons something and tries to run me over. And that could be a problem. And we'll go ahead and search Crow. Go ahead and normal summon Crow. 
Pro, go ahead and switch to quick play. And look at that, look at that. We got all the back row people. We got all the fucking back row. Of course, we're gonna go activate you. Get rid of you, because you're weak. I want someone stronger. I want someone stronger, stronger, better, faster, stronger. We'll then summon another fox, just for more damage. And look at that. Pow. Pow. People say like, oh, you know, magic monsters are weak. I said they're pendulum-based monsters that has a ridiculous effect. Whenever they're summoned, like, that's crazy. That's craziness, but hey. I don't make the deck, I just play it. I, it's, like, just fox alone is crazy. Like, I knew as soon as I got someone to search for a freaking, uh, uh, freaking, a freaking trap card, I was like, it's over. It's over. It's over. They gave me like, a powerful counter trap, some black horn, divine wrath s card. It's over. So, this is, this duel's over. I completely outpaced you, I resourced you, and set up. It's over. Sure. I'll let you do all your plays. I'll let you have fun. Who are you gonna go into? Like our mateys or something? That's cute. Nah, you're just gonna summon and quit. Yeah, so I thought. Summon and quit. <laughs> Alright. Well, tell me, do you guys think this deck's gonna be tier 1? I think it's gonna be tier 1. <laughs> this deck is crazy. Uh, the hate is gonna be real, though. Like I said, is there, we, we, if you come blazing with the hate, then this deck can easily fall apart. Like I said, it relies a lot on its monster group. It's really slow to set up, unless it has this pendant scale. So break its scales, you know, play the anti spell against, play the black horns, and just wreck them. Wreck them. The mirror match is stupid just because of Tempest, so... Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, get in our duel. So be back. Alright. And aren't they spellcasters, too? So you could play, like, Secret Village when you don't have, you know, your own field spell. I mean, you already play. <laughs> You're searching, so... There we go. I mean, we got Pendulum Call, so you can set up my Pendulum Scales. Ooh. Hmm. I mean, if he drops a Shiana on me, this is going to be a difficult duel, then. Uh, some Nishi. Special Summon. Uh, okay, I'm going to say you're going to Special Summon a What's-His-Face. Is that a couple back row? Alright. I'm going to go ahead and Pendulum Call. I'll pitch this Insight Magician, because... Uh, it's literally there just to help me with my consistency of my scales anyway, so it's expendable. You know, like these things, I'm magician one, I can get my pendulum skulls, my, uh, pendulum skulls, pendulum scales much quicker, right? Go ahead and play you. Go ahead and play you. Pendulum shokan, you too. And quit! Ah, see? It's over. Too bad your back row wasn't something. Like I said, you would probably want to go first against this deck. You need to destroy these scales immediately. Like they need to go, you know. Or you either have to go black or an anti-spell friggin'. You need to you need to get rid of the monsters. They're, this deck is very monster aligned. I know you're probably afraid of the back room, but like I said, you really can't touch the monsters. But you gotta touch them quick. You know, break the scales, get rid of the monsters. I wonder what his back row was. I was gonna go ahead and summon these two. Core get you know double search. Uh, I still got my normal summon too. So whoever I switch up a raccoon, I can go ahead and normal summon probably fox. Then uh, this was searching my spell card, so I'll go ahead and activate to go ahead and get rid Oh wait, no, I don't need that, because Fox will be strong enough with my field spell. Just run him over. Run him over. Yeah, that duel's over. If he didn't have the back row to stop me now, it's going to be over. So, mm. Look how strong this deck is. Ridiculous. I said, the, the Magician Stitch. Mm. This card is stupid, and, you know, setting up my scales. Like I said, people, I believe that people in the OCG are playing this. Literally, is an engine, a pendulum scale engine for everybody. For every deck. It's ridiculous. Like, two to... It is hefty, and you can get both of them with just this. It's just ridiculous. Oh, they're back. Alright, who are we going to beat this time? Oh yeah, I'm going to go first. Okay. Oh, well, like I said. These cards are expendable. So pitch, and go ahead and reset up my scales. Like I said, it's expendable. I run two of each uh, of these magicians, so I don't mind pitching one to grab the same magician, you know. Uh, around this guy because he's two and I do have level threes of course, so that's the, that's a much smarter play to do so Go ahead and play you Go ahead and play you. Actually, I didn't even need to set up my skills, but it's fine Go ahead and summon you Yes, yes, yes uh, Give me tornado because I already have a tempest then I'll go ahead and uh, Pegasus And I'll get rid of the stronger one for a weaker one, but he will of course allow me to get 
resources. Give me another search of a monster. Let's say, what are you gonna do? Fat veil or me? <laughs> uh, oh, you want to summon a werewolf? That's cute. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and summon crow. I mean, well, search crow and summon crow because I still have a normal summon this turn, of course. Or I did. Do I have normal summon or a pendulum summon? I I normal summon. I have a pendulum summon. I'm a pendulum summon. Yeah, you two come back. Oh yeah. Uh, which one's the one that banishes, destroys, shuffle back into deck? I'll take this because I already have this. I'll put you back in the deck. That's what you get for freaking summoning during my first turn. Go away. So congratulations, you start off with one less card than you usually would. <laughs> Look at this deck; it's ridiculous. Freaking Stanzi's like, I don't play crow. I don't like the spells. I don't play crow. Play the crow. Play the crow. This deck. I already has a problem with, you know, monsters, so play the damn crow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, it brings a tear to my eye, it's so funny. I said you'll quit soon enough. This deck's too strong. Too black, too strong. It's not black at all. <laughs> yep, go ahead and surrender. This is it. Uh, like I said, I'm not sure how, many, how long I'm going to keep this deck on daily duels because it's so fucking good that literally the entire video is just going to be quick, 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 quick. And I'm, I'm getting power hungry, people. I'm getting power hungry. I said, this deck's worth matchup is probably itself. Like, that's the crazy thing. This deck's worth matchup is probably itself. Just because of Tempest. Because as soon as you dungeon some, you know, I'm going to go ahead and Tempest you, tribute line, and get all of you, but, you know, so... Don't pendulum summon in the mirror match, you know. But then none of your freaking uh, trap cards will work on each other, of course, because, uh, you know, it's like, oh, well, I can't be targeted. So the mirror match is going to be like, say, what? But, yeah. We're back again. All right, let's kill it again. Some pairs, players being like, oh, you will master, he plays you bell, he's not competitive. You want me to prove you wrong? <laughs> uh... <laughs> Alright, well, I got a whole bunch of my fill spells, so I guess that's good. I said, I run three fill spells. I think I run, I can't remember how many terror forms I run. Either one or three, just because I like exploring the number generator. So let's see, you're two, you're two, so I'm gonna go ahead and activate this. I almost summon you. You, of course, go ahead and search me a trap card. Uh, give me Tempest. And we'll go ahead and switch out. I'm gonna go ahead and summon Raccoon. And Raccoon, go ahead and search for someone who can set up my scales for me. So, you're two, so I would like a five. Who's a good food? Who's a five? Crow's a five. Is that it? And ra another Raccoon, five. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I said, you're not gonna hurt my feelings. I know, I know it's disgusting. I didn't make the deck, I'm just playing it. That's it. There's a whole bunch of people who try to freaking insult you on here. Like, oh, you're a fucking scrub playing the deck. Blah, blah, fucking, blah, blah, fucking, blah, blah, blah. Like, I feel like playing it. So I send people who play like Infinity Ducks. I feel like playing it. I feel like playing it. And so I'm going to play it. So Come at me. That scrubby kid. That's fine. You said you might have been safer. Go ahead and MS, MS ting my scales. You kill on monsters, but you know, I depend on some of them bad. Your background is useless. Resistance is futile. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and summon you. Like I said, unless you got some kind of solemn warning or something. I'm getting my plays off. I'm getting what's mine. I can destroy you. I don't know. I say I don't. I don't know. Summon. Should have searched for a unicorn with you. Oh wait, I can't put no summon here. I guess I could tribute summon though. Is there a normal summon this turn? I don't know. I'm not even keeping track of what I'm doing anymore. I don't need to keep track of what I'm doing. 
this the deck is so fucking good. I don't, I don't need to keep track of anything. Oh, let's say, why is my extra deck going off? Like, oh, so I'm so used to Queens, right? I can't touch my extra deck that this deck can actually go into the seas. Or my YouTube channel. Get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> or my YouTube channel. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Not hurting my feelings. Oh, not hurting my feelings at all. I know how stupid this deck is. I'm, I'm, I'm clearly doing the stupidity. You even had the solemn warning too, and it's just. I think Thousand Morning, Black Horn, shit like that. And? I, I don't get your point. I'm playing it just to play it for entertainment's sake. Okay. Okay, and? You don't like it? Quit. <laughs> I'm just doing it for my YouTube channel. Doing it for the channel. It's like doing it for the line, except for the channel. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm both broken. I know it is. You're sitting here trying to talk me down, talk me. I don't even know what you're trying to do. You're really wasting your breath. Then quit. Like I said, I, I got plenty more duels. Mm hmm. Thanks. That's it. You're not playing the shit? Don't play the shit. Like I said, you simply just quit. You're sitting here trying to freaking talk down to me like you're my fucking mom or my boss. <laughs> I'm on phase. That's it. Oh my god, he fucking hurt my feelings. No, ah uh, no, shit. I've gotten, I've gotten called. I've gotten called a cunt. I've gotten called a nigger. Like, hey, it's fucking, it's the internet. It's <laughs> you gotta have that, that, that skin of steel. You're trying to talk down to me about how sacky this deck is. I know this deck is ridiculous. That's why I want to play it. Cause I want to. Sometimes I just like, you know, Friday, time to wind down and just sack some people. Mm. After people beat my ass on Vine and Y, because I'm using fucking a tier fucking 69 you bell deck, it's good to go ahead and hop on this high horse. Be dirty damn for a little while. I feel like getting one more doing I really do. We're gonna go ahead and do it. Be right back. Alright, last one, because yesterday's Day with Jules and Vine and Y were like long. They were like, what, both 40 minutes long? So fuck that shit. You know? yeah. I'm busy. I'm a busy man. I'm a busy man. I gotta get ready for League. <laughs> Which is probably what you guys came here for, but I'm, I hope that you guys uh, this past week have enjoyed your stay here at uh, <laughs> uh, You Bell De Channel. <laughs> I, I don't know what I don't even know what the hell I was trying to say. Hello. All right, so I need two. Uh, fucking cat. I'm not gonna set my skills up now. I'll set them up later. You destroy the monster, you banish the monster. Okay, go ahead. Not just that the skills up now, just because I, I don't want, I'd rather him throw back MST at this than this. Because this is expendable. This is not so much, so. Oh, ninjas, that's cute. Summon your Hanzo! And I'm gonna be like Hanzo! No! You're right. Do, 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 do. My receptors are so fucking busted. Ooh, odd eyes. Odd eyes. Who are you going to such for? Oh wow, time gazer and stuff. I mean, uh, it's so old. It's been, it's been, it's been a cool minute since, of course, we've seen them. I can't really use it right now. I don't have a mention. I won't have a, a either one of you. Well, I guess I could play you as my five. Yeah, you my two. You my five. Yeah, fuck it, sure. Fool kit. You wanna miss it? Yep. Fuck it. I'd rather go ahead and not have crows in my five if I don't have to. Fuck it, crows are really good. 
So even the magician who's supposed to help me get on the magician is still putting in that work. Pendulum stuff can you to offer you you have uh the 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 solemn warning because if you don't then you go get fucked up. I'll go ahead and get fox. <laughs> I mean, cat, cat's here to help, but cat really doesn't do much. I'm going to get storm. Because I already have a uh, cyclone. I'm going to go ahead and almost summon you. This might be like the first duel where I didn't get my fucking field spell. It's interesting. What's that? I don't know what your little background is. I'm going to do shit. Give me another tempest. I got tornado. I can fuck you up. Like I said, I'm, I'm too deep. I'm too deep. I'm balls deep. <laughs> it's like, oh, they have weak attack, so you can attack over them, but... It's kind of hard to attack over them with all their freaking trap cards to get rid of my monsters. You know, it's not, I simply can't just throw, you know, uh, try to catch up by throwing a dark hole or Geki at them. I can't, you know, negate their effects that they're going to search for. It's just like, you made this deck too fucking good, Konami. You made it too good. You made it too good. They would have been fine if they didn't have the fucking cannot be targeted destroyed by opponent's card effects. You guys add that on everybody. It's just like, say, what? You know, so. Alright, so, like I said, this guy... Went ahead and searched the scale, so you're gonna go set your scale, set your scale, pendulum shotgun. Hmm. Yeah. Show me what you got. Show me what you got. Like I said, at this point, you're probably gonna lose, but show me what you got anyway. Like I said, are you gonna go ahead and set your scales and pendulum summon? Make sure you pendulum summon on Black Horn and ask, uh, uh, what's his name? Tempest. Tempest, Tornado, Cyclone, all of them are just windy shit, and now they are spellcasters. So I can play Secret Village, and they're all winds, so I can go into Powerful Lightning Chidori, like, it, it's all crazy. It's all crazy. So, next time? Ah, Castell. I'm about to say, Castell and? <laughs> You're looking like a motherfucking, uh, <laughs> like I said, you couldn't target them, so I'm assuming you were going to go after my skills, which case I was definitely going to go ahead and hit you with one of these before you detach, so... Might as well scoop it up. Like I said, Fridays. Just like, yes, being, be dirty, damn. Who feels good. It feels good just to go ahead and, after all the shit I get from, you know, using nominated decks, it's good to just go ahead and just teabag someone with the power of Magiceptors. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed. But tell me, do you guys think this, do you guys think this deck is going to be tier 1? I sure do think it is. I don't think this deck comes in a structure deck like the other magicians do, though, so it's going to be a little bit different, but... You know, for goodness sakes, this deck can run pot. It, it can run, it can go, it can go slow, it can go fast, it can beat you and your mama's ass. Like, this deck is just like, mm, they made it just too good. Like, oh yeah, search for fucking their own torrential tribute ass cards, you know? Make them pendulum, make them so they can't be targeted show by card effects. It's just like, what? Like, no, no. I'm done. <laughs> so, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and, uh, yeah. Of course, there's no daily duels or vitamin wine, none of that on the weekend, but y'all don't give a shit. Because what's on the weekends? League, of course. Week 2. So, be back tomorrow. Same time, same place. 12, 2. Get, you know, matches 1 and 2, and then 3 and 4 on Sunday. So, enjoy, people. Alright, people. Thanks for watching.